hi everyone welcome to natural skincare school formulation desk is your host victoria here uh tonight i'm going to show you how to make um a professional uh, grade high hyaluronic acid uh, serum okay in this serum i'm going to use a low molecular weight one remember in my previous video i explained to you different types of hyaluronic acid we have a low molecular weight one and we have high molecular weight one i'm going to use a low molecular weight um, hyaluronic acid to make um, a gel okay so stay tuned for that that's what we're going to make in this video so what you need what you need is you're going to need a sodium hyaluronate we're going to need distilled water and you're going to need your preservative okay so that's uh, what we need to make this beautiful um serum serum is good because it helps uh, prepare your skin for absorption of uh, skincare active skin active okay so we use it first after using your toner you use your serum then you use your cream that's why a serum is very good for a beautiful skin so what we need now is to weigh our water okay we're going to weigh water because low molecular uh, weight of uh, hyaluronic acid doesn't form it doesn't gel okay like the cheaper alternative the high molecular weight one we are going to put in something that's going to make it uh, gel okay so we're going to use a thickener i'm going to use uh, my prehydrated hair I draw a two cellulose. If you want to learn how to make this, look in the description box below. So, the first thing you want to do is to measure your water face. Okay. So, I'm going to have my water. Then, you're going to add a uh, x to it uh, make sure you hydrate hex that's a uh, hydrated cellulose powder make sure it's hydrated okay that's why but I'm, i have one that's hydrated here i'm going to add it to it add equal amounts that you know you're going to use to form your gel so if it's not enough you can add more so but for now i'm going to just uh, stay with this your water face and your gel face must be equal to at least 97.5 percent so Then I'm going to cut out my gelling agent here. I'm going to blend my gelling again together. Also, look in the description box below to see how I prepare the gelling agent. Uh, X, the gelling agent I use is X. And as you see, I still do not have my sodium hyaluronate in there. So I'm going to use 2%. Okay. So I'm just going to take my 2% and uh, mix it quickly. Yes, 
when a skincare brand tells you they use 40 percent sodium um, uh, hyaluronic acid is a lie okay what they are doing in essence is uh, making <coughs> is making the when a brand tells you they use 40 percent sodium hyaluronic acid is a lie in essence they are only making They are only using a solution, okay, that I'm making. They're only using a percentage of the solution that I'm just making right now. So keep that in mind when a brand tells you uh, that the hyaluronic acid is 40% is a lie. There's nothing like that. They're just using 40% of this type of solution that I'm making now. So keep that in mind going forward. There's nothing like 40% uh, hyaluronic acid. No, there's nothing like that. It's a lie. It's just I think it's more of a marketing uh, tactics the skincare brand use to to get their message across. So don't worry about that. It's, it's just a marketing gimmick. the the type the brand i'm using doesn't gel okay so that's why i had it hex so we're going to use our emotion blender to blend it Immersion blender is very important in making in smoothening your your serum. If you're not using an immersion blender, you can also use an homogenizer. Okay, so either of the two will work for you. In essence, when you are going to get started, you're going to use, uh, you're going to add your gelling agent to the water. But because I have my gelling agent already, that's why I'm doing this. So if you look in the description box below, there is a uh, link to the, the, the professional formula, okay, to make a professional formula version, okay. That is available on naturalskincarescool.com. So once you have that, the next thing you want to do is to add your preservative. It's very important that you add your preservative to this because we use water, right? So a preservative would do you good. It's going to give you peace of mind, okay? All you have to do is just transfer transfer your serum into a container and you are good to go. Transfer your serum into a container and you are good to go. Hyaluronic acid serum is very important. So and that's our serum. That's that's your serum. Uh, because I use it, I'm going to upload a video shortly. Immersion blender has a way of pumping oxygen into our emotion so you have to be careful um, when you are using emotion blender okay so 
it's going to pump so much oxygen into your emulsion that you won't like it so make sure you are care careful when you're using emulsion blender when you are making product to sell emulsion blender is not the way to go because it's going to pump so much oxygen like crazy into you so you have to be careful with this like if i bring it closer to you you can see so much oxygen that you see in front of it so if you are selling product to the public please do not set this much oxygen before you even bottle it at all allow it some time let it settle down okay uh, if you check the ph the ph should be good uh between four and five so that's perfect so just check the ph make sure the ph is compatible with the uh, preservative you used okay and make sure it's also compatible with that of the skin so i wish you the best if you want to learn more about making great and stable skincare products this is the channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos and head over to naturalskincareschool.com to learn more about making great and stable skincare products thank you so much for watching everyone